today I'm gonna show you how you can create a shallow depth of field and we're gonna use Photoshop for this and we are also gonna use a little bit of AI inside Photoshop to get this effect by the way I also have a free training on my website check the link in the description go to my website and just watch the free training all right into Photoshop first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my photo by pressing ctrl command J and then press right mouse and convert to a smart object then I'm gonna go to filter and select camera raw filter and in camera raw filter if we scroll all the way down we have a lens blur which you can apply here and let's first apply this lens blur and let's zoom in here a bit so we can see this better and the blur amount I'm gonna boost all the way to a hundred you can also play with the bokeh boost here to see which one you'd like but I'm gonna increase this slightly and also these bokeh effects which one you like more I'm just gonna go for the first one I don't see much of a difference in these so let's just click on OK by the way you can also set the focal range here if you want to if you want to change that when you click on visualize depth you can see this is in focus and the background is blurred out let's press OK now we got a little bit of blur now the next thing what we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl or command J and then create a new layer on top of it and if I hold down shift and select both of these layers I can merge them with Ctrl E or Command E. And then I'm gonna make a smart object again and I'm gonna go to camera raw filter and I'm gonna do the same. So let's go down to lens blur and apply this again to get even more blur. Let's boost this all the way to 100. And now you can start seeing the difference between the background and our subject. So this doesn't look right, but this is what we're gonna fix in the next step. So let's boost this all the way. Let's see if these make a difference, not so much. Let's just keep it at that. And this one, let's just keep it. I'm gonna press okay, and you can see how much blur we have. Now, the problem with this is we're getting this really strange edge around our subject, but we can fix that. For the next step, I'm going to select the lasso tool, which you can find here. And what I would do is I want to make a selection of the edge. You can see the edge doesn't look right. So we want to fix that. And let's do that by making a rough selection of the edge like that and go all the way around it so we can select the whole edge where we can see those weird stuff going on with the background and our animal in the foreground in this case like that this also doesn't look right yet but let's not fix that let's do the animal first and when i click on generate a fill i'm just click on generate and it's gonna fix this problem and we just have to wait until this is done and it's gonna use AI to make sure the edge looks right. And if it doesn't look right from the first start, generate again until you got a good result. So let's see, this doesn't look right. Let's go through these and let's generate again and see what it will create now. All right, this one looks a lot better. To create even more depth of field, we can also use the foreground. To place something in the foreground, just simply drag it inside your image like that. And you can see this stick doesn't look right, but it all doesn't matter because we're gonna blur it out all the way. So let's go here and select filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just apply a blur and then change the colors by adding a hue and saturation. Don't forget this icon, so we only affect that stick here. Just drop all these colors and you can also add a color balance to match the colors of your image. So we need some blue, some cyan here. And you can already see it blends a lot better in this photo. And obviously just get rid of some parts that you don't need like that. And we created some depth here. And that's how easy it is to create more depth in your photos. If you wanna learn more about photo editing, especially wildlife photos, I have a course and I now have also a free training. Just go to my website and there you will find a free training. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.